important because because it's an indoor space and it's it's kind of enclosed. It's still enclosed. It's part of the actual building. It's not just an attachment to the building. So. Prima di tutto la preghiera. And why is my thing being really silly? Let me just see something here. What's going on here? I'm sorry, my screen keeps closing. Um. I don't know what's going on. I'm having like two different problems at the same time, sorry. No, come back here. First of all, good question. First of all, the prayer. Okay. How do you say meditations? Meditazioni. Meditazioni. Lui non ha una coscienza. He does not have a conscience. Lui non ha una coscienza. Lui non ha una coscienza. Ah. Nice. How do you say cathedral? Cattedrale. Cattedrale. Let me see. Cattedrale. Cattedrale. Next. Gli occhi sono lo specchio dell'anima. The eyes. Mirror of the soul, specchio. Gli occhi sono lo specchio dell'anima. Gli occhi sono lo specchio dell'anima. Next. Uh, hope. Speranza. Speranza. È una chiesa vecchia. È una chiesa vecchia. It is an old church. And I believe I'm done now. Test complete. Continue. Reach level one. Right. Next. I got a lingot for getting everything right, actually. And next. Okay, we don't need the ads. Yes. Uh, no, I don't want that. Okay, and we appear to be done. At least if you can't see the Duolingo owl on the app. Like, what is that? I'm tapping it and you can't read the thing. But this is all done, level one. And that's the third Italian course I've completed on Duolingo, actually. The first one I did was uh, Italian from Spanish, and then I did it Italian from French. Fun language. Next. That was a little bit Italian. Next. I think I'm just going to stream for a little while longer. Oh, it's 11.30. I'm going to stream until noon. I think I'm going to stream until noon. And then uh, take a break. Let's just do... Let's do some Portuguese for a bit. No. Portuguese from Spanish. There's also Esperanza from Spanish. Actually, wait. Hmm. Wait, what's going on? Oh, you're going out? Salad. I don't know what I want for dinner, though. Okay, so uh, let's do some Portuguese from Spanish for a bit. Hi, Devil. How's it going? I see ya. Yeah. I am... It's a little too bright in my living room. I can't see my laptop. <laughs> so I'm outside today. Um, outside on my uh, thing. It's actually a really nice day here. I don't know how I can switch the camera easily so you guys can, so you can see. So what are you up to, Devil? Are you doing devilish things again? <laughs> okay. Hi, Baka. Hola. Como estas? Estoy bien. Yo estudi espanol con la mañana. How to estas? Ah, haciendo stream con el teléfono. Yes. 
Yes, I am. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm studying Spanish in the morning. And yes, I am doing a stream on my phone, yes, because my laptop and my TV screen, it's too bright right now. I can't look at them. <laughs> what I want for dinner is Italian food. I probably do on some level. I don't know. I was, I was talking to you. I said I want a salad, and I don't know what I want for dinner. Okay. <laughs> Did you have other questions? <laughs> it is objectively the best food. Uh, what do you... Did you have a question? I don't know the answer to that. You seem like you have a question, Nate. Nate. Nate's running off to the grocery store. And he won't come out here and ask me what he wants to ask me. <laughs> He's silly. Um, Nate, just get me, um, get me a chicken Caesar salad. Where are you? Okay. And um, I don't know what you want for dinner. I still have caps. I still have leftover capsule on and and I don't know. Do you want pasta tonight? Do you want something else? Okay, go to the store and just message me and tell me what you see there. <laughs> Why don't you grab me, um, grab me some, huh? Chili. You want chili? Not really, but I'll just grab it because we talked about it recently. So, okay, I'll grab the stuff for chili and buy some potatoes that I can bake. Okay. All right? Yep. Okay. Oh, there goes my screen. Sorry. Baca, que dedicación aprender un otro... Idioma, no? <laughs> are, you, um, are you saying he's dedicated to learning other la in another language? <laughs> so, let's do some Portuguese. Yes, um, Devo, that was like the third Italian course I finished on here. <laughs> I still don't speak Italian because I actually haven't like sat there and fiddled with my Anki and listened to a ton of Italian. But it's not... It's not a really difficult language when you know French and Spanish. And Baca is quiet. Baca, I did my punches on stream yesterday. I don't know if you were around. That was your that was your redemption, remember? I don't know what that was. Why? Oh, my alarm's gonna go off. Why is my alarm gonna go off? All right, let's try this Portuguese. <laughs> let's try this. So what, anyways, what is Devil up to today? Relacionado. Como se diz relacionado? Relacionado. Pretty much the same there. And next. O oh, Capitan. I find Portuguese a lot harder to pronounce than uh, Spanish or Italian. It's like some, I, I feel like Portuguese is, is some mix between Spanish and French pronunciation, or Spanish and Italian pronunciation. O Capitan foi a Rito. Ah. Oh, I don't know my conjugations. I think it's this one. Se dice hechos, hechos, feitos, 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 right? Feitos. Una cosa está relacionada a la otra. Una cosa está. Next. Detenida. Detida. Decide? Decide. Deci he says decide. I don't think that's right. Decide? 
Estas cosas no pueden estar relacionados, relacionadas. Estas cosas no pueden estar. This is one. Dedicado. Escoge la traducción correcta. Uh, oh, sorry. Nuestro museo está. I don't know why I read that other one. Está entre. Está entre. Ustedes más. Cono, conocidos do país. I can't pronounce Portuguese. Como se dice echa, 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 oh, feita, 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 eu fui seguido, he was followed, eu, eu fui seguido, eu fui seguido, eu fui seguido, o almoço foi pago por meu amigo, Oh. O almoço foi pago por meu amigo. Foi. Um, was paid by my friend. Ele está sentado na cadeira. Ele está sentado. Sentado na silla. Ele está sentado na cadeira. Ele está sentado na cadeira. Ele está sentado na cadeira. Na cadeira. O trabalho está feito. O trabalho está feito. O work is done. A medida foi publicada em julho deste ano. Medida. Uh, what does that mean again? The average was no. Trabalho em julho. What does medida mean again? Oh, de este ano. That was bad. Uh, translate. What's la medida? Hmm. La medida. Translate that from Spanish. I'm sorry, my screen just shut off again. Measure. The measure was what was published in July this year. That is a strange translation. And I hope I'm not like getting disconnected. Let's try this again. No ads, please go away. Hi, Rachel, how's it going? I am on my phone again. I can't see my laptop or my TV. <laughs> um, so let's try this. And I was just playing around with Duolingo on my phone anyway, so. Dedicado. What are you up to, Rachel? Spanish for some dedication for language learning, is it? Yeah, that's what I thought. I really dig the fact that you stick to streaming even when you are on the phone. <laughs> Could be better not feeling too great. To oh, Rachel, why are you not feeling good? How am I? I slept. Oh my god, I crashed last night. Last evening. <laughs> I crashed just be just when Nate got home from work yesterday, and I didn't get back up until like I, I slept all night and woke up at six a.m. <laughs> I think I needed that sleep. <laughs> um, really bad cramps are making it difficult. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Do you need? Is it like? Do you need water or something? Uh, oh, don't cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've taken painkillers. It's good. There's my screen again. I'm sorry. That doesn't sound fun. Okay, what's this? What does this mean? Uh, our museum is there on trails to this my conocidos to buy 
I can't pronounce Portuguese. I need to hear it more. Nope, not really. Wait, what did I ask you again? I got distracted. Nope, not really. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a beautiful day out here, actually. It... But I think it's supposed to cool down this weekend. So I figured I'd sit out on the, uh, on my, uh, loggia. Loggia, which is actually an Italian word. It's fine, I'm used to it. Yeah, okay. Uh, how dare you not feel good? You best receive this virtual hug and these virtual <laughs> Yes, that's true. Actually, yes. I can't really type in chat very easily right now, but you guys can just give her hugs. <laughs> hugs, hugs, Rachel. <laughs> Where's my hugs command? Actually, I can try this on my other phone. Is this working? There we go. <laughs> Goes my screen again. Um. <laughs> Those are cute emotes. Take energy? Oh, it gets cute. <laughs> Una cosa está relacionada a la otra. Let's try this. I think I'm going to stream until um, noon and then get and then have some lunch and see if I can actually Focus. see my TV screen <laughs> or my laptop screen. I have some things to do, but I need my laptop for that and I can't do it right now. And basically the sun comes right in and it just glares off of the TV screen and the uh, and the laptop so I'm like ugh Relacionado. Estas cosas no pueden ser no pueden estar um, these things Relas. Does this really mean these things can't be related? Detida. Detida. Fui seguida. Um, this means... Wait, what? Fui seguida. Perseguida? That is, I think that... That's supposed to mean I was followed, right? What's perseguida? Javo, do you know what perseguida means? Let me see. Oof. Yeah, I know that pain. My TV is in the front of the house and you can't see a thing on when it's sunny. Yeah. I mean, I like having it there because at night it's not bad looking out the window, but it's like, I can't see anything. <laughs> Persecuta. I thought that meant persecuted. <laughs> yeah, I think I was thinking it should be how it's followed, but why persecuted? Gita, not Sagita. And just draw the curtains. Oh, we have these old white curtains that don't do very much, so it doesn't help. Let's see. Yeah, Persagita was per means persecuted. <laughs> so I'm confused by that. Why? Why? Why, why do that? Sagita is followed but what is the what was the portuguese one mean in some context it could also mean i was persecuted yeah i understand but persecuted is quite different from just being followed <laughs> yeah the portuguese means followed so i don't know why they put that one <laughs> i'm so persecuted <laughs> Algumas dessas cartas foram publicadas. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'm so persecuted. Man, apparently, um, apparently black life, 
matter oh what is it black life matters black lives matter i get i get confused as to which way it goes um they were demonstrating here in damn square yesterday <laughs> algumas dessas cartas foram publicadas and i'm like oh man um some of these letters were published <laughs> Yeah, there's a protest happening in Nottingham at some point this week. Oh, dears. It's not going well for the U.S. I, I'm, I feel really bad for people that are stuck in the U.S. right now. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, devil. <laughs> I mean, I hope things get better in the U.S., but this is, I don't know. It doesn't sound like Trump is helping matters either, of course, right? The rules are you have to socially distance and wear a mask. Otherwise, you'll be turned away. For what? Oh, at the protest? Uh, I wonder how that's going to hold up when they're protesting. <laughs> So, Amitita foi publicado. Um, also, Nottingham, Nottingham had no new cases of COVID in about a week. Well, confirmed cases anyway. That's good. Still should wait the, like, the 14 days, I think. Eles precisam ser detidos. Eles precisam. Oh, do do do. They, oh no, it's gotta be this one. Ser detenidos. They needed to be detained? Is this what they're trying to say here? Eles precisam ser detidos. God bless those protesters in my city. Not gonna lie, every sympathy I have goes to those people who feel anger for the city. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's complicated. I. It's so very hard not to identify uh, which protesters. I'm thinking about the Black Lives Matters. The same in the UK. Thankfully, our police are a lot better. Not perfect, but a lot better. I mean, I am. I trust me. I empathize with this whole. The thing I have against Black Life Matters is they think they're the only people that have ever been persecuted or, or prejudiced against before in their life. And I have had experiences with racism before, even back in Toronto, you know. So I might, it, yes, they're probably heavily persecuted in the States, but other people experience it too. And it's not fun either way, so... Yeah, well, yeah, and that's what Nate and I were talking about. All lives do matter, and every every human being deserves to be respected. But sometimes if you try to tell some of the Black Lives Matter people about that, they'll tell you you're just being racist when you say all lives matter. And I'm like, what? So it, it just feels like this is reverse discrimination, reverse racism that's going on right now. And... While I empathize with the fact that they have been, for most of probably American history, they have been, you know, prejudiced against, it doesn't help matters. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, in some parts of Nottingham, I wouldn't want you to go to overfearing your safety. Hi, Mike, how are you? Anyways, let's not talk about this too much. <laughs> I'm sorry I brought it up. It's, try not to bring these things up on the stream. It's more, more Duolingo, more languages. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How is it going this morning? I've been up early today. <laughs> Ele está sentado no sofá. Um, hey, hey. 
Yeah, let's talk about happy things. But yeah, the the protests are here. I'm just surprised. I mean, in a way, I'm surprised it got all the way here, you know. But I guess, I guess, um, damn. I don't think we're going to have Pride Week here this summer. It's not going to happen, right? But I think, like, last couple of summers, you see some of that stuff for uh, during Pride Week. But not protests, really. The Pride Week here is actually really interesting. Mm, in El Sofa. So, how is everyone this morning? Did you all study Spanish, Dutch, Norwegian? Uh, well, Mike is Norwegian. He's studying Spanish. Well, Devil doesn't study need to study Spanish. I think he knows a lot of Spanish. El trabajo está feito. El trabajo está hecho. Eu fui seguido. Eu fui seguido. Eu fui seguido. O almoço foi pago por meu amigo. I think Nate's back. O almoço foi pagado por meu amigo. E meu amigo, meu amigo é simpática. I think Pride celebrations have been pushed back to the autumn in the UK. Okay, that's cool. I don't know what they're doing here about it. Oh, wait, they're advertising to talk to me. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Tengo que estudiar mucho más. Yes, yeah. I have, he says, I have to study much more. <laughs> don't we all, don't we all? Okay, via his travel trips or actually wait do i want to do this one it's gonna make me sad i can't go anywhere <laughs> hi nate hi. como se dice autobus huh onibus onibus that is different for sure i worked out how to add the russian keyboard to my laptop so i can do russian lessons of that's good cool yeah that that keyboard's pretty cool I think, though, the Windows Russian keyboard, though, you might... I think you have to use... Oh, screen, don't do that. <laughs> oh, hi, Nate. Rachel says hi. Horosho. Horosho, good. Russian is fun. It's a really fun language. <laughs> I still don't remember a lot. El nació en Africa. El el nació en Africa. I cannot pronounce Portuguese, guys. I'm still learning where all the letters are, though. You can use that Brana site, Brana dot com. Can you use um Brana dot com site for the keyboard? to figure out where they are. I've spent... Oh, wait. Uh, or, as we call it in Norwegian, remembering code. Wait. You have... I have Russian nanomic. Wait, Mike. You have a Ru you have a Russian nanomic to remember where the keys are on the Russian keyboard? We call it in Norwegian, remembering code. I have spent a lot of time talking to Black Lives Matter protesters. Believe me, they don't feel that there is only one form of discrimination. Black Lives Matter has a lot to do with the fact that black lives seem to be the least valued in my country. You're right, though. Drop it because it's your stream. I just don't have the heart to not clarify. No, I agree with you. I think the majority are like that. But but if you're on the internet and you ever engage like on Reddit or Twitter or anywhere else about it, like, Nate's been told basically to shut up before or something, because <laughs> he's white, you know? The whole, the whole uh, privileged white person doesn't have a viewpoint on that and can't relate to it. I would really recommend looking for a mnemonic one. 
uh, Barana place, places the letters way more naturally for you. I installed Windows Russian, so the layout is pretty close to my normal keyboard. Oh, wait. Uh, it makes it easier to type as I don't have to actually learn the Russian keyboard. Oh, I've had that so many times. Wait, what? You've had what so many times, Rachel? I miss something the being told to shut up because you're white and you don't have and you can't possibly know what racism it feels like I, yeah and sadly I've also heard some arguments from some of the extremists in that kind of department tell me they probably say that I wouldn't understand their viewpoint anyways because I'm not as dark as they are like literally my skin is not as dark so I can't possibly understand what racism feels like yeah that's why I say when it that's reverse discrimination for sure when they when they tell white people to shut up about it yeah yeah that that's another argument that Nate was telling me that some people were throwing around on the internet and I'm like you know I can't I, I can't deal with this if they want me to be on their side it's all lives matter so <laughs> that's that's all I'm gonna say everyone just be people be people friendly be human friendly like my cats were <laughs> metro metro i don't i haven't fully assimilated the portuguese pronunciation rules into my brain yet along with orth orthography so it's kind of, it's kind of like strange to me still i've told my friend off for racist comments before be nice to everyone simple as <laughs> it's a simple concept, but I don't think it's easy in practice. I I think for a lot of people, <laughs> well, not for not necessarily for a lot of people. for some people, it's not an easy thing to do. I guess. I mean, <laughs> um, but there are like some things I wouldn't necessarily consider outright racism. But I I should stop talking about this. Just <laughs> just. I can say that again. <laughs> I stop talking about it now. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are all happy, shiny people, okay? <laughs> Every single one of us, and we all deserve love and happiness. <laughs> Event. <laughs> Yeah. But honest, I don't know. Oh, that's my alarm. Ignore that, please. I need to make sure my alarms don't pop back on on the stream. I'll oh, ignore that one. Okay. Uh. She went to it Italy. But uh, yeah. Italiano. Italianos. That was easy. Uh, a toco. LA Toko na Europa. Alemanna. Alemanna. Os barcos são vermelhos. Os barcos são. Oh, um. No! Vermelhos. Oh, rojos. For a second I thought that meant yellow, but it means red actually. Vermelhos. Os barcos são vermelhos. Means red. Vocês são chineses? You had a look at subjunctive yesterday. It's weird. Subjunctive is weird. Mike. Wait, Mike, do they have subjunctive in German at all? For my alarms, I always have to choose dance music so I can't resist the urge to dance and actually get out of bed. No? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. There's no real subjunctive in English, Dutch, and German then, I guess. Yeah, the subjunctive is a little... I guess that's the one thing about the Romance languages that make it hard for English speakers or Germanic speakers is the subjunctive is just a, a weird thing. <laughs> it takes a while to get used to, I think. I mean... 
I'm pretty sure the first time I learned the subjunctive in French, I was just like, what? What is this? What does this mean? Because it's a mood. It's a mood versus like indicative or imperative. So it's a mood and not an actual, it's not an actual tense, right? Because you can have the subjunctive in like present or past tense. Yeah, it's a very weird thing. So the first time I was taught subjunctive in French, I was like, what, what, what? But I think I understand it a little bit better now. Nós somos turistas. Eu somos. No, wait, 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 what am I doing? Nosotros somos turistas. Nós convidamos o rei de França. Nosotros... Recono... No, 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 invitamos. Nos convidamos o rei de França. Nosotros invitamos o rei de França. Nós convidamos o rei de França. Posso ver seu passaporte? Pode ver seu passaporte? Puedo, puedo ver seu passaporte? Um, may I see your passport? Right. I was trying the German from Dutch course a little bit, and I think it's still... I still find Germanic languages a lot harder than the Romance languages. Ele voltou da China. Subjunctive reminds me of conditional. Yeah, it's like conditional, but conditional is an actual tense, right? And subjunctive is a mood. So it's like, it's express. usually with subjunctive you're expressing wishes or desires or things that that don't, that aren't actual factual, right? So things like, I wish I were rich, or I wish I was rich, um, gets translated a little differently into uh, Spanish. The word order is a little tricky. Ele voltou da China. Uh. Ele voltou da China. Yeah, but I feel like conditional kind of covers some of those cases. Uh, I guess it. I, I guess it would depend on on how they, uh, on what they're expressing. But like, you wouldn't use the subjunctive for saying something like, um, "I love that you study languages," or you wouldn't use a subjunctive for that. Usually it's kind of like wishes. Is it in the negative? When you're expressing a negative thing too, you use the subjunctive. Onde fica rodoviário? I'd have to go look that up again. Onde fica rodoviário? Donde? Oh, I don't know these words. Rodoviaria. What's a rodo? Estación de autobuses? Donde queda la estación de autobuses? Onde fica a rodoviaria? Yay. Nós moramos em regiões diferentes da Inglaterra. Nós moramos. Nosotros vivimos em regiones diferentes de Inglaterra. Nós moramos em regiões diferentes da Inglaterra. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like if I were in the conjunction would be more like uh, if I would yeah um, it is kind of confusing when because it can kind of blend it can kind of get the distinction between those two conditional and the subjunctive might be a little blurry with that I mean conditional I'm used to calling it conjunctive <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
as férias acabaram. Yeah. Yeah, they can get kind of blurred sometimes. I think I remember that too from both French and Spanish. Alas. Ah. Casiones? Cavaron? What does this mean, actually? Let me look this up again. This is what this. Uh, cavaron is like to achieve. So this is does this mean vacation finished? A <laughs> cavaron. A cavaron. Stop closing on me. I'm just a cavern. Yeah, vacation ended, right? Okay. Yeah, I need to review some of that too with my Spanish. <laughs> these ads, these ads. All right, it's about noon though. It's actually a little bit past noon. So. I guess I'm gonna see if I can uh I'm gonna go take a look and see if I can actually use my uh my uh computer or something and close my screen again the screen again. But in case you guys wanna see if you, do you guys wanna see my uh my little inner courtyard? This is our uh private not really private, it's like the courtyard inside the building. Or rather, inside the complex, we have a courtyard here. It's kind of nice. Let's see if I can switch the camera around. Uh, camera. Okay, wait. Screen. Camera. This is my... I don't know if you can see that very well on the screen. I don't... I can, I can fiddle... A, what is going on? <laughs> I gotta fiddle around with Streamlabs to do this properly. Um, hold on a second. This is so bad. I don't know, I guess if you can kind of see that. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my courtyard. I'm in, like, this corner here. <laughs> we have a big, you have a big garden. It's cool. So, the thing in the, like, the kind of trying to point at it for you over there. You can kind of see it's kind of a round thing. That's like a stair stairway that we go down that we uh, take to go down to uh, the ground floor. Right? And the courtyard's on the on the uh, first floor. So so it's kind of nice. I, I, I really like... I, I do like the way they make these uh, apartment building complexes. They're quite 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 interesting. I love it. It's a bright day, anyways. So I should switch my, yes, yeah, streamception. I should switch my camera back. There you go. Well, let me go see if I can use my laptop again. <laughs> if, if I can't, then I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe do some more. Uh, stuff. Do some more Duolingo. It's nice. It's actually pretty. But, you know, Nate doesn't want to sit out in the courtyard there because he doesn't like the idea of eating out in the courtyard there. And Dutch people do it all the time. And he's like, I thought he came back. Oh, yeah, he did come back. So Dutch people, like, will eat out in the courtyard all the time on a nice day, except for, I guess, now because there's coronavirus, right? So he's just like, but Nate won't do that at all. He says, it feels weird. It feels weird to be eating my food outside, right? In a courtyard where people are going to walk by and look at you eating. And then I think it's because he feels, like, if somebody sees him eating, I think he'll feel obligated to, like, to offer them food. And I'm like, Nate, this is just very European. They, they don't expect you to give them food just because you're out there. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, when my, when my brother and sister came to visit, they were like, oh, let's eat on the courtyard. And Nate's like, no, I'm not going to do that. If you want to do that, go do that. And I'm like, Nate, 
<laughs> I like your company. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> right? Me and my mom eat outside all the time. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually nice to eat outside, but I mean, whatever, I can't make them. I, I mean, I eat my lunch out th there on the loggia sometimes, right? Well, when it's not raining, yeah. <laughs> so it is a cute little courtyard. And I think I can see my laptop now, yay. So I think I will probably just uh, end the stream for right now. Hey, actually, can I go raid somebody? Let's see if I can raid somebody. I don't think I can do it from my phone. Can I do it from my phone? Can I go raid somebody using my phone? Or no, I don't think it has it in the app. Uh, Twitch app, can I go raid somebody? Well, I guess I can if I type it in chat. The question is figuring out who to raid. <laughs> right now and my screen keeps turning off I'll just use my laptop to figure this out <laughs> um, you can raid actually yeah I think you can can't you who do we want to raid only one other do a person live at the moment let me see who's live right now uh, apparently I can't type one handed Okay, who's live right now? Uh, live channels we think you like. Oh, Jeff James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go raid him. I'll just do that. I'll do that quickly from here. It's easy enough for me to do, I think. Uh, I can do this from my laptop. I mean, my screen keeps shutting off. It shuts off on like every 30 seconds. I'm sorry about that. Uh, where am I going? I was trying to go somewhere. There we go. Yeah. And we say Ninja Bot Raid. Right? Okay, now I see myself. Okay, Raid Channel. <laughs> Bye everyone. I'm sorry I don't have the animals next to me. But I will wait, no, I don't think it I can. It has to be a stream or an under Oh yeah, okay. Okay, okay. But okay, I'll see you guys later. But I'm gonna try and play later tonight some more Final Fantasy. So Ninja Bot Raid coming up. Stop turning off on me. Star Raid. I hope it goes through. <laughs> and this my screen again right now. There you go. Okay. Uh, uh, and my thing.